Yo. Episode 57? 57. Short. Ryan. Yep. Greg. Back in the building. Yep. Think this podcast? George. Who wears 57? Number 57, because I have no idea. Uh, come on. Come on. I'm going to let you have Bart this. Scott. Can't wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bart Scott. Bart Scott. Um, <laughs> mean Green. What's his name? Mean Joe Green. Mean Joe I have Green. No idea. I think he wore 57 for the Steelers. I got nothing else. I got nothing else. That's I only knew Bart Scott. Baseball players. Oh, wait. Hang on. There was a Seahawk. Um, Mike Miller? Morgan. Morgan Miller? I think the last name was Morgan. I don't know. His first name. Oh, Mike Morgan? What are we talking about today? You what, you relying on me? I don't know. Ryan, what are we talking about today? <laughs> what are we talking about today? We're going to talk about Puma Adidas lawsuit. We're going to talk about Deion Sanders hates Nike. Custom sneakers. Are they dead? Touch on the NFL draft a little bit. And then we'll get into our top 10 all-white sneakers of all time with the looming Yeezy V2 release. But as always, start off with pickups. Greg? Oh, no pickups. Well, actually, real quick, uh, follow us, iTunes, subscribe, YouTube, subscribe, IG, follow us, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, Facebook. Uh, look for us, Nick, this podcast. Pickups this week. Soon, we will be on the Reshuvenator YouTube channel, coming to you live. Not, well, not live, but live enough. We'll be there. Pickups. George, you want to go first? Uh, Sure. What you got? Why don't you go first? I have nothing. <laughs> okay, there we get nothing out of the way. Nothing June 4th, but I'm telling you this. I'm real close to copping a lot of stuff. You've been real close since No, January I 2nd. almost, I put stuff in cart today, and then I took it out, and I put it back there in. There's nothing to put in cart unless you're buying it after the, like. Uh, no, it was just stuff. Like, my my eBay cart was lit, bro. Facts. Okay, yes, but that's my point is that's aftermarket stuff. There's nothing that released that you're oh, like, oh, I ain't tripping over another release right now. Exactly. Although I consider buying Yeezys for six ninety nine. Yeah. Okay, well, you're a moron. Anyways, uh, pre-ordered the Ultra Boost Olive. I told you about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Olive uh, next Ultra Boost, and I have no idea why. I just saw the tweet and said, uh, might as well cop it. That's it. That's it? What you got? I got a list of pickups. I got a grocery list of pickups. I picked up uh, another Jordan Royal 1, another Jordan 11 Low Carolina, I got a Jordan 1 Los Angeles at the outlet for 60 bucks. Picked up a Kith New Balance Cyclade and finally got my Beluga 350 V2. And that's it. Celebration. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Beluga's in the building. What size did you get? 10 and a half. That fits? Yeah, actually it does. It actually does. I do. I will say though, a ten and a half does fit in Yeezys. I could probably fit a ten and a half. It depends. They're made different than the. They the, definitely the other fit V2s. snugger than the other V twos. Yes. I don't know if it's a knit or what, but yeah. Uh, my olives kind of fit a little snug. I think you got a ten. Yeah, I have tens of olive. Every single one to ten, but I know I could go up to a ten and a half. And you're saying the olives fit the same way? Yeah, to me, it fits the same way. Mm -hmm. Like. I had a nine and a half at first, and Ryan gave me the ten when we left undefeated that one time and got him. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but I'm talking about the Beluga. You said you got a ten. Oh yeah, right? they both in tens. They both and tens. they fit the same. Fit the same to me. Oh, so what's coming out this week? A lot of stuff coming out this week. There's a Yeezy V2 white. Trash. There's two or three Vapor Maxes <laughs> coming out. Asphalt gray, I think one of the color. Oh yeah. Uh, Wings and horn Adidas NMD pack. Nah. Tomorrow Supreme Nike up tempo pack. Nah. Nah? No. None? Y'all copping those? I'm copping golds suck. for certain. I'm Ugh, trying. Those suck. I'm going into work early to get on that T1 internet to try to cop a pair. You didn't buy a bot or a cart? Not yet. No, I don't want a bot for that. How I, much I is it? Get the, how much is the bot? The, yeah, right. for it. Uh, or add the cart or whatever. Probably 100 bucks. You probably copping, George? Bucks. Man. You're cop not going to even sell? try to sell? You're not even trying to cop to sell. I'm going to try and cop to sell, but those are awful. Okay, I already had a bad experience trying to buy Supreme stuff to resell, so no thank you. What was that? Those all black, whatever they were, 98 Air Max, whatever. Oh, those are different. What's the difference? I mean, this one's branded Supreme. There's no bigger way to brand Supreme than this way. I mean, if you if there's a Supreme item that you could sell, it's these. What's retail? What are they selling for? 260 No, no, no. It's got to be two, either two or... Two or two twenty. I mean the the Jordan the Jordan fives are two twenty. Retail was one ninety. So everything was retail. Everything with Supreme is like ends with an eight, right? Like one ninety eight. Yeah, they were, so they were two. Oh, really? I think. <laughs> I they think. 
I just there were two. I just two had the car thing. Check out. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, you don't check out. So <laughs> <laughs> no one checks out. Lots of people check out. I've checked out. <clears throat> then we got your grills. Air shakes are releasing in the white, blue, white, red, and black, white colorways. Probably by white reds. The Nike LeBron 14 red carpets, which is actually probably the best LeBron 14 that's rele- that's gonna that has yet to release besides the f- original one. So no, the best LeBron 14 is the mag one. What mag one? The mag colorway. It's silver, mag lights on it, inside. And it released? Yeah, it was a release. Okay, they suck, so it doesn't matter. I mean, the red shoe carpets are kind of fire. Uh, I don't know. And then finally... Finally. The Nike Air Sock Racer Ultra Flyknit. And I'm kind of intrigued by them. Sock racers are something you find at like Nordstrom Outlet, and you're just happy that you found them for like 39 bucks. They remind me of the fly, the first Flyknit Freeze that you and I bought every colorway of outlet stores. Yeah, and those hurt our feet after They hurt the shit out of your feet. Oh, Crystal White Ultra Boost come out too. With the silver boost. Those oh, are yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You copping those, George? Nope. Them, what? I think they come out tomorrow. Them joints are or today. fire. They I didn't say the... they weren't fire. I'm just not buying them. Oh. I don't even know why I bought the olive one. Yeah, I might pre- take it back. You pre ordered the olive when you should have been getting. Did you sell your, <laughs> you your orange boost yet? Yeah, a long time ago. How much did you sell those for? I don't think retail. I made like five bucks or something. <laughs> Uh, what's our Better top? than losing money. You told them what our top 10 today is, right? Top Hold 10 on a second. greatest all-white sneakers of all time. To us. To us. Sure. Not all-white shoes, but cool. All-white shoes suck. Yes, they do. The best, no, sh- the best shoe. You the actually best- like a pair that's on my list that I bought not too long ago. I love two. All right. All-white shoes of all time. There's only two I love. I think there's more I think than there's two. more than that. Love. I think there's more than two that you okay, love. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, I, then I guess define love. All then. white <laughs> shoes and all black shoes are the worst shoes of all time. Facts. All white shoes, the people that wear all white shoes are like the guy that is like your mom's friend, and he takes you to ice cream and tell you he's not replacing your dad. That's <laughs> that, <laughs> that's who wears all white shoes. I didn't even follow shoes, along though. on that, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's who wear all white shoes. Uh, and ner- Your and, new stepdad. And, like, that's who wear all white and shoes. Rapping so. and, and rapping nurses. And Jerry Seinfeld. Symbol's friend, rapping nurses. Yeah, rapping nurses and ice cream men. Yeah. Uh, the best shoe that Symbol didn't even mention, and it may only be a Europe release, but that Air Presto White Safari. Oh, Safari Pack. Flames. They're what? High key flames. Whoa, like the, I, the Nike ID stuff? No, 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 no. It's a pack. It's a yellow Safari print pack, a white one that looks like a Cement Fours. Oh, and, those are fire. Um, oh, they're Prestos. There's a red That's one. And something else. The white ones are the best ones. Yes. But uh, yeah, don't enjoy it. It's a fire. Those are fire. <laughs> flames. High key flames. Uh, real quick, shout out to the homie Trey D Kicks. Uh, subscribe to him on his YouTube channel. Does great unboxings. Uh, that's a super homie. He listens to the podcast. Better unboxings than sneak disc unboxings? Uh, we've only ever done one. Yo, y'all need to do unboxing. Y'all need to give me all boxes. Uh, I don't buy anything. So I'll just have everything mailed you just directly want me to, to like, your house. You just want me to like bo- tape something yeah, up and unbox it? Yeah, but you guys, it? you guys want me to unbox it because my next unboxing is going to be lit. <laughs> Maybe yes. literally. <laughs> yes, literally. No joke. Literally lit. I'm debating on like just going outside and just throwing out a moving car and let the <laughs> shoes fall out and just see what happens. There's another uh, 9317 coming out this weekend, too, by the way. The, the black with the, the leather? leather? Yeah. No? Is this buying? weekend? Is that? Not buying? That 9317. <laughs> the the, the, one with the EQT. Super, the super Boost. I don't think I like those anymore. Though. Oh, okay. I think I like the white ones now the That's, most. I like dang. the white ones. Dang. You said you were buying those first. No, I'm having when problems. Come I'm, I'm mad I didn't buy that black pair, though. I should have bought that. Man, everything that was in my car today came out in, like, 91, between 91 and 98 today. But it's not even wearable anymore, then. Uh, everything I buy OG is wearable. Also, the Pantone 7s. I don't know if you said that or not. I did not say that. I those forgot about those. shoes. Yeah, you're right. But I'm just saying they're coming out. Some, those people, are for, some people listen care. Those are for newborn babies. Facts. Um, Bro, that, people got upset with that. <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> You People didn't like that. Uh, and the Wings and Horns NMD R2s are coming out. The ones I said you that. said that. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, right. they suck. There's, well, there's like a... They there's don't... A, soup, I mean, yeah, they So suck. there's a regular and a Prime knit, right? And that? I don't know. I don't the know, only I one I would consider buying is the one that's like off-white. The gray one's just kind of... Maybe it's like suede or something. Um, Terrible. I mean, they don't suck, but they suck. But, oh, yeah, sorry. Once again, shout out to the homie, Trey D. Kick. Subscribe to his YouTube page. Super cool cat. Um... Also, everybody who wanted a beater, they're coming. It's just taking some time. <laughs> I'll send them joints this week. How many beaters are we finally s- ever sending? I'm going to send five. Five? five? All right, I'll get it. How many do you Three? I don't own a beater. I have, I have beaters. I think I'm sending very, very near DS. Like, that's I all have I got. I beaters. I might send DS I have, be- I have stuff from college still. 
I was sending you pictures. Of, I was sending y'all pictures of beaters two weeks ago. I mean, if you bring some beaters, it's gonna be messed up because I'm gonna be sending some DS to some. Though. I only got very near DS stuff. Like I, I'll, I can supply five beaters. I mean, I don't want them joints to be that beat. Oh, like super beat, like homeless. We got the system re- rejuvenated three brush. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. a laundry kit. We can send some rejuvenators with our beaters. That's what I, that's what should be our new thing. We should send beat ass shoes with rejuvenators and make people clean them and send make us the videos them. in. Make send us the videos them. in. That's what we're going to start doing. Um, From now on, every beater will come with Rejuvenator, and you will sneaker laundry system that shit, and you will make it look <laughs> BS, and you will give us before and afters. Um, Somebody recorded a video recently with Rejuvenator, and it, didn't, it made me upset. Oh, my God. I'm not going to say any names. I'm not going to say He's any fam names. He's now. He's fam now. I'm not going to say any names. All right. Now, I appreciate the video because it's Rejuvenator. But that was the worst video I've ever seen, <laughs> period, in the history of vlogging forever, all right? <laughs> forever, all right? Period. I, I can't even believe it. I felt so bad watching. It was cringeworthy, all right? Not saying no names, all right? But Homeboy is wild. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Deion yes. Sanders. He is wild. I don't want He's wild. Anyways, oh, Deion Sanders, Complex no. Shopping. Uh, y'all watch Deion Sanders? We did. Deion Sanders. I didn't watch it. I just heard what was said afterwards. Deion Sanders might still be the coolest cat. Deion Sanders. Uh, not uh, Stop it. Not. We're not he talking about NFL Network. We're not talking about NFL Network. Deion Sanders and we're talking suits. about uh, the person. You gotta watch it. You'll be like, oh, he's still that guy. Yeah, There's man. people I would put ahead of him. He started rapping his know. lyrics from. Yeah, uh, he thinks his song is the best rap song of all time for athletes. No, but when he raps it. And he raps about the six buns suit. Yeah, and I'm sure it's, it's terrible. like, you know what? Uh, right. Yes, if Roy Jones started rapping his, you would be like, oh, I love it. Roy no. Jones used no. to be able to rap, but he sucked. Right. A lot of cats used to be able to. I mean, Shaq, he had bars. Facts, don't yeah. even debate it. I'm not, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that you think that you, like, I'm, maybe you don't agree with Dion, but the fact he would say that, and then you're like, oh, he might be the coolest person. He's no. still cool, though. He still has super Bruh, swag. His complex shopping, he brought in his sons. And his the son's crew to shop. He didn't even cop. He just sat there and they cop sneakers. He, what can he cop? Under Under Armour don't make nothing. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's the only thing he's gonna um, cop these days. Deion Sanders said that he would never work with Nike again. You watched it, right? Yeah. Because he went to them and said that he should have a line, right? That's what yeah. I said. He should have a line of wear or sneakers. I don't know where. Other that, athletes wear them. Yeah, like instead of instead of like pro football players wearing Jordan brand, like they should wear in Deion Sanders, like sneak, like Deion Sanders cleats, uh-huh. but also they retroed all that shit and didn't Wait, get, and cleats did, or not? Well, no, no, all the train. Like they retroed all the trainers. He's talking about back in the day. He's talking about back in the day, and then like, and then Joe was like, "Well, who would be wearing them now?" And he was like, "Well, cats like Richard Sherman, and uh, you know, like he's uh, like Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson. I mean, he didn't say Joe Hayden, but I'm sure he meant to. <laughs> so. Yes." His career is over. No, you're crazy. He's just been injured. We'll his see. career is over. We'll see. You need to chill out. He's oh, the same, thing about, he's the same thing about Victor Cruz. Actually, his, uh, his career is over. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Joe Hayden, no, Joe Hayden's gym, his workout gym and training facility followed us, followed us on Instagram. Good, good for them. So you better be respectful. Though. You better be respectful. I'm he's sure, going to get you in shape. Listen, there's. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get you in shape for the wedding. There's plenty of athletes out there doing good things in the community that aren't athletes on the field anymore that just is what it is that's not being mean uh, joe joe hayden is a he's a friend of the show yes he's a cousin of the show yes cousin Um, hayden you ain't been good about three years so just so we're clear but no one is no one is 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 uh, not getting you know what i mean no one has like a free pass on this show yeah well as soon as we draft hooker on thursday and get some help in that secondary joe hayden is i mean hooker's good he can play he can play nike i took it as he felt that Nike doesn't have, didn't have the vision back then. See, I took it as like he's like Nike's disrespected him lately, like because he made a comment like, you know, they dropped all these shoes again that I helped design, right. and guess what? I didn't see any deposits in my bank account, which I mean is a similar thing that Reebok did to Frank Thomas. Uh, Facts. I mean, like the Converse did it to Larry Converse Johnson. Did it to Larry Johnson. Reebok, uh, I think, even did it maybe to Sean Kemp them. Well, the early only on. the only did. thing I would say is caution on saying help design because in those days we don't we're not certain that they had a say in what the shoe. Dion looked said like. he did. He said. Like I the, mean, he I'm, said like the strap. It wasn't even idea, let, the, like the, the Nike was hesitant to let idea. Kanye do something in 2014 or okay. 10 or whatever. Okay. So but, that's 80 whatever. But this 89. is this is one of the problems too. Like Dion said, 
when you take away and Dion's Diamond Turf, to, I have the original OGs, 92, 94, 95. Yeah, Mervins. Fact OG. <laughs> no, I got all mine from Nike Factory, Oregon, Beaverton. All right. For free. All right. And I still have them. Thief. Um, My friend's mom used to work. Them joints are missing elements that make them retros. That's what I hate. How you said how Dion was like, they didn't give me the direct deposit once they made the sneaker. That Diamond Turf, not Diamond Turf, whatever it was, the one that um like with the, the swirls. Yeah, yeah. And in the bottom of the air bubble, it didn't have Dion wearing the bandana. Yeah, it had, but the, it said, uh, field goal, it had like the goal poster, yeah, right? I don't care said air? about the sole bottom stuff. But if it's not a Dion, if it's missing that element, I don't yeah, want it's it. It's not anymore. a retro. It's not a retro. It's like yeah, when Sensations came out. When Sensations came out and they didn't, they're Chris Webber's originally, yeah. didn't put the CW in the back. It's like LPW or Air Up There, more Up There's. Air Force Maxes Whatever came out. They didn't have the three and the four on the pull tab. Like that. Uh, three I never the four really noticed the pool, that. Facts. Like it's, it's like a total. It's like a thing of like, when Nike, we talk, we constantly talk about Nike constantly bringing out retros way too late. That's one. Like Dion's have come out way too many times. Period. They come out way too late, and they come out not done correctly, either quality wise or. Nah, true. it's not that it's not done correctly. They did that on purpose for some of those. If they know Dion is with Under Armour, they're not going to put any ode to Dion on the shoe. Let's be honest. Uh, yeah, there. but come on, man. But I mean, that's a thing. What do you mean? Like, come on, it's a business. We I talked about that. this. I get that, but it's like you know, if if he truly did have something to do with the design, just like I'm sure eventually Nike's going to re-release Yeezys one and two. And not give Kanye anything for it because well they have to change the name because well yeah they'll change the name, name on it exactly but I mean like but they Dion's don't, was never Dion's you, you don't know have what to mean? change the name of an Air Yeezy you don't have that's to not his yet. name not yeah. his legal that's name what, what are you talking about that's what he's known as it doesn't known matter. as in legal is two different, things. two different things they could call it the Yeezy one and the Yeezy two and they, they wouldn't they there's no way that Nike would I in my opinion there's no way Nike would do that what I mean. Okay, well, like, but they would. you know what this is kind of like? This is kind of like right now. Can, this is confirmed. Right? I mean, it that, would sell even if they called it Air Yellow oh, yeah, Wall. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but, <laughs> it doesn't but this matter. Is, this is confirmed. Like, so Dion talking about the retro, they're talking about not done correctly, coming too late, whatever. This is the Jordan 3s are confirmed for 2018, right? Yeah, with the Nike. The Nike in the back. back. Okay. Yeah. Black Cement's? Yeah. I didn't confirmed. Know that. It's confirmed. 2018. Well, yeah, Soul Collector. Okay. Put it out, so I assume that's correct. Now they should sell out. Oh, absolutely! They one hundred percent. If they don't, there's a problem. Now, but they're they're almost too late. Like, nah, no, not a late. black cement, not a black cement, not a black cement. The only reason because is... the last one came out in what ninety with Nike Nine? on it. Yeah, ninety nine, ninety nine. Yeah, every one in between, every single black cement three in between ninety nine and now are all fakes, replicas. In my opinion, I don't care where they came from. <laughs> if they don't got Nike in the back, they're all replicas. They look like the original, not the original. Deion Sanders talking about them not giving him the direct deposit in the bag for something and not using him for it is to me like a prime example of like either losing the vision of what made you what you are. I mean, what Nike had the vision for that sneaker or, you know, it's just coming out too late, like with Jordan threes. Like no one was that. No one in this era was going to buy diamond turfs. So that's different. people did. They did. There, there are people in our diamond in our ASU okay. group yes. that has every and, single and, pair of them. And I what happened? Diamond turfs were half price. And they I mean, paid. I mean, they, they, they did <laughs> half price. But they paid retail. Who paid retail? The people. Well, I don't care about group. them. That's like an even smaller portion of talking about sneakerheads, which is already a small portion. People, but shoes going on clearance for half off, it, those shoes are irrelevant. I mean, you're not, you're talking about, you can't compare Black Cement 3 with a, a Diamond Turf. You can't you're because right. that shoe was going to sell. I mean, there's still true some Jordans sell that out, sell out. But I hope true to blue God, blue threes sell but out. I hope to God that Black Cements are done better than True Blue 3s because True Blue 3s. Actually, True Blue Threes are at Anthem right now for one hundred and sixty nine dollars. I mean, that was never. I grew up in the Jordan era, you know, as a ten year old, when, or what, what, yeah, ten you when the fours came out, us. nine when the when the threes <laughs> came out. The True Blue Three was never had the following that the other two had. Never. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I mean, it never did. I mean, it never had cement, the following white that the white and black are definitely cement. leaps and bounds above True Blue Threes. Yeah, that's, y'all copy I mean, if, I this, mean, if Military Four came out right now, they wouldn't sell they wouldn't out. Sell Same out. kind of thing. But a but black cement. But, What's that? But white cement fours didn't sell out with a Nike here on the back. Yeah, they did. No, they didn't. Those are I got three fifty now. Yes, they did. I got them under retail. You put have on to swoosh, not yeah. at a, <laughs> East Bay's not letting you use a discount code for that. No, but I mean they sat. I mean they sat for like a week or two. Nah, I don't remember that. 
I don't know. I think Nike. It's like the. But the I think Rodman. black cement definitely brings more hype than white cement does. Like oh, cool. black media. cement three and a white cement three. I mean, look at uh, actually. Well, eight, I was surprised. S- I saw an sold out a million times. But so. I saw an eighty-eight. Dead, I can't remember where it was. I saw a size ten and a half eighty-eight on Instagram somewhere. Dead stock for three three hundred. Like they've come down a lot. A lot of that used yeah, to be five hundred dollars. Like I thought that was now. still kind of high. Three hundred. Oh, when really? you bought, I haven't paid when you bought your well, they cost two twenty like or something retail. So. Uh, no, I paid for my eighty eights. I think I paid two ninety five or oh, something. That's not, like okay, that. you think, got them like close to release date. Though. I can't stand threes, but I've owned almost every single three. And I'm buying these for like the fourth time. I'm copping those. The blacksmiths. Oh, I know people copying. say that we don't like Jordans, but we do like Jordans. And I'm copping. I those. love OG Jordans. I love all OG Jordans. Facts. That's why I can't get rid of my maroon sixes. I can't get rid of them. They suck. First they of all, they don't suck. They, they don't suck. He even saw them in they person. We had an argument, held about, we had an argument about what sucks in a car. Like, what sucks Our, what our definitions suck. of suck are different. First That's of all, he held line. them in hand at Ben Hadlow's Fest, and he fell. If there there was. Listen, if there's something, and we don't need to make a long conversation about it, but if there's something today that you either can't wear or refuse to wear, it sucks. No, it doesn't. That's my definition. No, it doesn't. Yes. Fine, let's move on then. Phone posits. Copper phone posits. Oh, One of suck. the best. Super suck. Stop it. Super One suck. of the best sneakers of all you, time. What do you mean stop it? You know how I've felt about foams forever. The only foam that I ever said that I put, might put on my foot maroon. is maroon. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's fine with you. Trash. Ryan, does phone posits suck? Ryan. In, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me ask you this. They suck. As a shoe or would I wear it? As the shoe, not whether you wear Aesthetically, it. Aesthetically, as a shoe, no, they don't suck. They but don't suck. For me, wearing them, they suck. We're not I like them. to look at them. They're I think they're beautiful. Sick, but I, they I suck. never. I tried to wear them. I've, I've tried to make them work. I can't if a copper work. and a royal one is sitting, there is no hope for phone posits. Well, yeah, period. we already know that. I know that, but I'm just saying. I thought a copper would sell out. Oh no, I did. Why? I, actually, it's a mar- copper and a royal. You probably one. can get the copper that came out recently for close to retail now. Didn't I mean, maroons, basically. Didn't the maroons sit? Yeah. The or maroons, they sold out? Yeah, the maroons. Well, it was like uh, if you a tried if you tried hard. Yeah, if you tried hard enough pause, you could find one at, for, for under retail on swoosh or, you know, in a I don't know, man. Nike. Maroons uh, are a top employee Maroons are top five phone pauses of all time. It wasn't like something where they sold out and then they were going for 350 immediately because two, th- well, not two years ago, what, three, four years ago, they were. You could buy any I, phone posit and resell it for 350 I checked my eBay listings. Uh, fighter Jets, 350 stealth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold 350 Fighter sold Jets. Sold for a grip. Uh, Jim, Jim Green's, is that the one that was kind of like... Uh, was that? Wait, what did shout you say out about? to Damian Walker. You said Fighter Jets sold for 350 I sold my Fighter Jets for 350 I need to get on eBay. Immediately. Sold mine for 352 I need to get on eBay today and put Fighter Jets on eBay for 350 Well, they ain't I don't know about no today. more. This I think they years are. ago. I don't know. And then, what was that? Jim Green Jim was Green's. the one with the... But it was like metallic or something. Or, yeah, like yeah. the metallic green. Yeah, the, I it sold was those. Pro, right? 350 and the dude messaged me back the next day and was like, oh, I bought these too soon. I should have waited. Same thing to me. Same thing to me. Um... I don't he know. had already paid too, and I shipped him, and he was like, "Oh damn, I should have waited." I think it's yeah. I don't know. So just, in other words, Maroons did not do that. They may have done like that, sold out online, but still could find them in the stores or whatever. I remember some, we were talking at some point about if we could get them under retail or whatever, but no. I feel I, like Nike's been fake selling stuff out. Well, it always sells out online well, because think about how many like people around ago, the country. And then like three days later, it's a full size run again. They do that. They sell like. They that may out. happen, but also it sells out online sometimes, and then it's readily available other places. Because think about, like, people live, like, in Idaho or, like, uh, I don't know, Utah, or places that don't have stores. Like, they got the order online. That's Utah's their only kind, option. Utah's kind of lit. Okay. Um, Next topic. They don't, have, <laughs> they don't have alcohol, but they might have J's. I think they have alcohol. They just don't have it on Sundays. They got compounds. Um <laughs> They, they definitely have, they, they got several wives. They got plenty of women to turn into <laughs> wives and guns, and I don't know. That's about it. I don't think they got um, good skiing. I don't know. I think yeah, they I got just, that. I think I'm just getting More really white. annoyed that like certain sneakers are getting disrespected. No? Copper phones. It's 2017. What do you want stuff to be the same forever? You are not wearing baggy jeans no more. What's the difference? You copper hate foams. foams. Copper foams and royal foams. It can't be that you're out. bothered though. That's not the right terminology. Me. Well, you don't. Did you buy them? Bothers me. Uh, no. Then you contributed. But I have the original OG you copper phones. You but you don't care same. about them. I do care about them. So I've never got rid of them. If I didn't care You've about them. You've also never worn them. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what are you talking about? Yes, I have. When? I had double pairs, and I sold one to somebody in the in the uh, sneaker group, and I wore my other one before. Six years ago? <laughs> when did you do <laughs> I almost called it what we called it. <laughs> anyway. When did you? When was I wore this them you? like in 2015, huh? No. Mm. 
Yeah. Anyways, I don't know. Do I fart? don't like I don't like OG sitting. Do you fart? Of course. Okay. You're disgusting. I don't like OG sitting Bruh. at all. I don't That's care what they are. It's natural, no? What they are. The yeah. red ones, the red ones are coming out next month, I think. The red what? The red phones. And those are fire. Oh, no, I mean, they're no fire, care. but they're nobody fire. wants them. Like, I don't care, man. The phone posits, what we said last time, they'll, need a signature they'll athlete. They'll have them on Pyru Street and in Chicago. They need, to give them the, they need to make them John Wall signature. Spoiler signatures. alert, what's not on my list? All white phones. Well, all white phones are the, one of the worst One of the worst of things of all time. I don't even remember that. Oh, all white phones. So, oh, oh, my God. Uh, they were right. terrible. I remember the Penny Pack one and then obviously Pearls. I don't remember all white suck ones. suck, too. Because um, <laughs> phones suck. They all suck. Just to uh, touch on something a listener asked us, a listener messaged us, and I tell we talk about it, but we bring it up. We'll, we'll touch on it. Custom sneakers. I don't know if either one of you own a custom sneaker. They wanted to know how did we feel about a custom sneaker. I wish I could remember his IG or whatever it was. And I said, y'all ask Ryan and George. I asked him on air. How do you guys feel about custom sneakers? See, it's tough because like I look at the stuff that uh, Rob Bass does. Like the Louis Vuitton vans and stuff like that. I think they're fire. You don't like yeah, them? Yeah, no, I think they're fire, but. But, like, but here's the problem is that I, um, like, anybody who I've ever known that ordered a custom sneaker, or bought a custom sneaker, had a sneaker customized, it's like you wear it once and the shit, like, cracks, like the paint falls off. Like, it's just. Let's see, I know nobody with one. I've never even. Bothered to even try. Like, I would George me, hates everything. I think a custom <laughs> sneaker is a piece of art rather than something you wear. I customize my own sneakers. I get those ones that are like OGs with the like yellowing on the on the outsole, and I just take the yellowing off. And it's yes, like, that's you a custom. use that sauce. Um, <laughs> no, not that kind of the stuff. You can just like use a, a household cleaner for rejuvenator. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sure rejuvenator would take it off too. Yeah. Nick um, Almighty will get that right off for you. Get that yellow right off. We'll turn them white again. I think it was like that spray that I was telling you about, Gugon or whatever. You use that spray, uh, yeah. it takes it off. I you mean Defender a, spray? I thought you said there was a custom that you wanted to do one time. Oh, I'm sure there's been a thousand um, customs I wanted to do, but I don't know, man. Like I bought, I bought two or three you, laser ones to get them customized. Oh, that's right, and. I still have two or three laser ones uncustomized <laughs> sitting at the top of my shoe. What were you going to customize laser ones to? I don't even. I don't. I can't know. even remember. It was, was something that I think other people were going to do. I was probably going to do a fucking fragment and something. Stupid. Uh, I don't know, man. Customs. I think they're dead, man. I don't think anybody cares about customs. Are anymore. for pro I, athletes to wear in a game, and that's it. I think customs. There's two types of customs. Like there's, anybody. Like like I mean I mean perfect example is Vic like. Vic does all those. I mean, he just still does some customs, but like most of his stuff is just pure restoration. Like <sighs> nobody talks about Mosh anymore. Does anybody talk about Mosh anymore? Who the heck is that? I don't hear the, anybody the, talk about oh, Mosh anymore. What's the dude name? who made that LeBron custom doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah. Um. What is that? What is that? Daniel showing us something. What is that? A custom. Who? Oh. By who? Yeah, Nick. but see, okay, let's go like this. So customs were never important to me. Let me Let's get my opinion out right now. Let me see real quick. It again. Oh, it's gone. So it's Daniel crazy. from Rejuvenator just showed us a custom that uh shout out to Vic Almighty did. Uh looks like a all royal. What was it? It was a base. And it looks fire. It was oh the base was the laney. I might have to give Vic my laneys. That looks fire. That looks super okay, fire. Okay, but see, that's the difference between what I consider a custom and, and a fake. There's two types of Dodge customs. Blue. It there's, like there's the, it's like yeah, yeah, the okay. gym blue, gym red, gym okay. blue, right? But there's, there's it's, two, it's gym blue. there's two types of custom yeah. sneakers. All right, there's a yeah. fake, there's a fake custom. I would wear it, but I would. Okay, so here's the thing. And a regular, someone, and, a, and a regular custom. Dang, cut me off. No, I you cut Hand me up. off. Hand <laughs> up. <laughs> you cut me off. A custom is changing the color of a shoe, changing yes. a laney to a blue. A fake is taking an, an my I, laser and turning it into a fragment. Mm, that's a fake. Oh yeah, I guess that that's could be. I think that's a fake. And I hate to say this because he's a cousin of the show, Mr. Rob Bass. Love all that stuff. But once you rebrand a sneaker and put Supreme on it, it's now a fake. It is if a fake. If you put Louis Vuitton print on a sneaker now, it's now a fake. If you make it. Now, don't get me wrong. I'd wear all them. Them joints. Them joints are fire that he yeah. does. I mean, the work that he does by hand is dope. So do we like customs? Yes and no. Am I considering doing a royal one? <laughs> Possibly. Because you have ladies. <laughs> I got two. I have ladies. Those are fire. Fire flame. So that's just to touch on that real quick. Um, to talk to shout out Vic. to him. I don't remember who that is. What else are we talking about? Pumas? 
I mean, lawsuit? Yeah, we can talk about Pumas. Um, George, fill us in. Fill us in, George. Let's hear about this thing that happened when you were born. Yes. In uh, 1922 when the Puma the, it's and not a, brothers It's not split. a breaking story. That's not the point. The point is I, never I, don't think, I don't think many people in the sneaker community know, number one. That Adidas that, doesn't own Boost. Yes, Boost is not an Adidas technology. They don't own a patent. Um, but you talked about that on the show before when you said that Nike was offered boost before Adidas and they turned it down. Yes, but that well that but yeah, in a in a way though, this is a different topic because Nike's not making their own boost shoe. No. You know what I mean? So th- this is something I saw online probably earlier this week or last week. So Puma was trying to make a boost shoe. They're, well, anyways, the technology is owned by BASF, which is a um, German company. I'm sure everybody who's around my age or our age remembers those co- the commercials way back in the day when they were like, BASF doesn't make the basketball. It makes it bounce higher. You guys remember those commercials? Mm-hmm. I don't remember mm-hmm. those. You, you don't remember those? literally have no idea what I you're talking no about. no clue. You don't about. remember those commercials? No, I do. I'm going to find one on YouTube and show it to you. But no, that was like. Does they, that predate color television? Um, this is probably like <laughs> 10 years ago. I have no so, idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Are you so. sure? Are Did you, you sure? never watch TV growing up? Not you didn't have a TV. I saw. I you remember like. You didn't have a TV? Nah, I, I remember like. like I, I remember stuff. like GAC commercials and like Frosted Flake commercials and Super Soaker commercials. <laughs> what you got? Okay. Well, that, and then what that happened? must have been when you were watching Power Rangers. And then uh, what happened? Anyways. Don't yes, talk you were watching Power CNN. Rangers, uh, Power Rangers are lit. Power Rangers are the worst suck the worst one of the worst things that ever happened and i've ever seen in my entire life because when power rangers came out you were already in college that's why it sucked to you you were getting your doctorate probably not true but power rangers was trash i was in sixth grade when power rangers came out if you didn't have the white ranger dagger whistle dagger (laughs) the green ranger whistle dagger don't talk to me. I have no idea what that means. Okay. Literally, I have no, no idea what that means. <laughs> that, what, what it was? What was it? The flute dagger? <laughs> he was like, <laughs> 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 If you didn't have that, and the oh, dragon please. and the dragon would come out the water, <laughs> like Godzilla. <laughs> Y'all literally just played the most suspect, like companion flute I've ever seen in my entire life, and you asking me did I watch? <laughs> That was like a collab flute you know, where y'all floated up in the air like fairies. Bruh, and the then Dragon flew Zord, away. Dragon Zord or whatever it was called would come out of boiling water. It the was water lit. was boiling <laughs> and he would come out. Shout out to the Green Ranger. Though. Shout out to the Green Ranger. Shout out to the, the Power Rangers. Ranger. You know he's fighting? He's fighting UFC against CM Punk? Oh, he's going to die. Uh, oh. I have no idea what that means. Go uh, ahead. What? But anyway, so Puma was attempting to use the same technology because it's not owned okay, by Okay, so Adidas. was this was this technology made by BASP or was it Puma technology? No, it's made by it was developed by BASF. Okay. Boost. Yes. The, well, yeah, the so compound that thing. is Boost. So, um I forgot what I was talking about. So Puma wanted to make a shoe. They filed a lawsuit and this the, the lawsuit was decided a year ago. So the the German courts basically said, and they called it MPLS. So the German court ruled in Puma's favor and said that since Adidas doesn't have a patent for the technology, they they can't force um, BASF to whatever keep it Adidas exclusive forever. So, anyways, the contract eventually runs out. But so at some it? point, oh, no, I have no idea. No one does. So at some point, the, uh, these other companies are going to start making shoes with the same technology. Puma has already made a shoe with Boost technology called Energy. That's their line. If you go look at an Energy shoe, it looks exactly the technology looks exactly like Boost. It's crazy. So, it, in other words, that. I don't think many sneakerheads knew number one that Adidas was not the original creator. And the Boost. weekend did not and use then, Energy. And the weekend's shoe does not have Energy. So I don't understand that. And this is where you come in. This is where I come in. I don't know why you feel like the weekend shoe should have used Energy. Technology? Why? Doesn't every collab shoe that's hot with Adidas use Boost technology? But I that's mean, the thing. We're talking about the internet era. It's worse to get clowned on for faking. For because bro, they would have went in if Puma came out with a shoe that had, and nobody knew this. What you're telling us now? I didn't even know this. That that Boost or Energy was on Puma first. So just imagine. If no, the no, weekend, no. I don't think it was on Puma first. Okay. Well, I didn't know it was on Puma at all. 
Yeah, neither now, did I. Now, till let's, a couple say, days ago. let's say Weekend Shoe comes out, which looks halfway decent. It's all right. It's all right. What is decent shoe? It's like that sock material goes up. It's like 160 Oh, I think. Okay, okay. The shoe was not, seen it? That it shoe was not bad. Now, let it come out with something that looks like boots on the bottom. And let him be clowns. Nah, I don't think so. No, oh, absolutely. Was, because nobody knew what you just said. We didn't know that. Not a single yes, person. Yes, but knew that, that doesn't. That's not going to lead directly to people clowning for Bruh. trying oh, to copy something. Oh, they Adidas will. is up here you know with popularity. They'd be like, "Bro, come out these fake boots, Puma, yes. Puma trying to bite Adidas." Absolutely, without knowing the actual real backstory. We're talking about the internet and regular people. We're not talking about people with common yes, sense. I'm aware of that. It, why wouldn't they do it already? Just because he signed with Puma, then? Why wouldn't they? Because he didn't already? copy. Nobody boost. knew it. They copied all the other technology, the sock, the sock liner, the knit, all that Aww, other stuff. What's the difference? That, it doesn't nobody matter. cares about that. They make that, Aroma. That doesn't matter. Aroma is the greatest nobody shoe of all time. Nobody cares about no, top three greatest shoes Nobody cares Definitely about fly knit, prime knit, whatever Puma uses, whatever Reebok's using now. So no one cares about nothing else, only Boost. Yes. yes. You're the Boost and snob. Air. You're not the fly knit snob yeah. or are you, the prime are knit you snob. Are you going to be the energy snob? Are you the energy snob? You gotta change. What does, you that, gotta have, change. You gotta what does that have to do now. with anything? You're talking about they one technology would matter, the other one doesn't. I you're the energy god. No, I'm saying that what you're telling us now about Puma and that technology, not a single person knows, knows about, about who are in the sneakers. That's no, I didn't fact. say not okay. a single person knows, okay, but I'm fine. sure, I'm sure I've, like, I've never heard it discussed before. Right. Now, and for you to say that now, Roma if, sucks, shut up. I didn't say they suck. You said they were Top the best of shoe. Of Top yeah, three. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Okay. Now, if the weekend shoe came out and it has something similar to what we only know as Boost, people would have went in. They, they eh, would I don't. Come on, George. Stop it. And what if you put a Puma shoe on? What if he comes out with a Puma shoe and then he gets one other person to rep it and then all of a sudden it explodes? Don't like, play. Oh, this is more comfortable than Boost. What don't you, play I mean, yourself. what are you talking about? I don't know if it can be more comfortable, but it looks exactly like Boost. It just... Right, so don't play yourself. Someone out, someone out there said Vapor Max is more comfortable than Boost. We have no, we don't know if that's true or not. Has anybody in here tried on Vapor Max yet? No, but I plan I've seen on more people one say. As soon as I get I one. I've seen more people say that it's false. That's like a false equivalency than I heard that uh, Vapor Max are pretty bad to wear. Really, yeah. I did. I mean, so Damn it. shout out to Doc Leon. He's one of the homies on uh, Instagram. He said that. He sent me something, and they said that it is awful. To I wear. wish you didn't no tell stability. Me that. At I wish all. you didn't tell me. But we felt the same way about we felt the same way about these. About oh, yeah, but racers aren't comfortable. Racers, what? Racers aren't comfortable. They have I no air. They have no air, no zoom, no nothing. They're just I think they're comfortable. They're, they're just easy to throw on. Um, but Puma and Energy slash Boost it don't matter. It probably doesn't matter because it's Puma. You're right. I mean, <laughs> so I mean. Oh, yeah. Now, like you said, if the contract ends with Adidas and other companies can use it, that Nike, might be a problem. Nike Boost. Uh, I mean, yeah. Well, it won't be Nike, Nike Boost. Might, Nike, Nike, might, Nike might open up the bags and throw the bags at them just to buy the technology so nobody Yeah, but here's it. the thing, though, is that Puma didn't – what the weirdest part about it is Puma didn't even use BASF. They took the technology and went to a company in the U.S. and had the company in the U.S. make it. So that's Puma's problem. That's what makes no sense. They're morons. Puma did? Yeah, because – Adidas' contract is specifically with BASF. So BASF can't make that technology for anyone else. But the court ruling said you can't exclusively use it. Like, it's not a patented technology. So they, they probably use BASS. <laughs> Bass. <laughs> look, at, look at George. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> anyways, Boost is also on Puma. So go to Puma.com and you can buy energy. And it's exactly it's like exactly Boost. Exactly the same. And it's $59. And it'll boost you. <laughs> And shout out to the cat that said we hate everything. It was a cat that sent us a message like you oh, on YouTube. He was like, you guys hate everything. He said the synopsis of our show is love boost, hate everything. No, 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 Did he? Oh, yeah, he said we hate Jordans, we hate this. We, we hate, hate everything. That. Yeah, yeah. And then I responded to him and said, that's cool because I just bought Jordan Royal Ones, Jordan 11 Lows. Jordan- yeah, we all bought Royal Ones, Bread One. We bought everything. So, um, I... I mean, what is this? This is a this is a commercial you're talking That's about. That's a commercial. That's one of them. I've literally never seen this commercial in my life though. Okay, okay. You, I, we'll you've seen the commercial maybe. before. Uh, I've never seen them before in my life though. What else? That's like a carpet about? commercial. He well, just spilt. First of all, until George it's not brought a carpet the, commercial, but until okay. George brought this topic up, I had no idea that the that the originator of Adidas and Puma were brothers, and that the companies have had bad blood and been suing each other each other since before well, George. Neither. I just thought they were just Nazi part of the Nazi party. That was it. It but was that's like, fact. Yeah. Now I'm not saying that they were Nazis, but they, they might were have been. Par- well, back I mean, in that day, if you yeah, if you, if you were, were a person, it, yeah, if you, you were, were a person of building. power in Germany in those yeah. days, I mean, I, it there was probably like, wasn't any way. It around. was like Hitler 
Adidas, <laughs> Puma. Yes, he had a he had a walking shoe company in Mercedes Benz. They competed with they competed with Rockports. <laughs> Hitler started Rockports. I used to know some drug dealers in the old neighborhood. It was who, not sports. I used to know these drug dealers that drove the original Mercedes Benz, and we used to be like, bro, they have no idea. Yeah, but, they were in the movie Colors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, they were in East. They were Inglewood. Facts. I heard, most of part and probably not in the most movie. of part they were by uh, MacArthur Park. Um. Top ten all white sneakers. Top ten all white sneakers. Did we talk got about any shout outs to anybody? Did we talk about everything. I got any shout outs to anybody? Anybody? No, we talked about you everything. Know? Shout out to Mister Meadows. Nah, I mean, shout out uh, to Jay. Uh, you didn't, to you didn't talk about the. We didn't talk about the draft, and you didn't talk about. Oh, we didn't talk about the draft. Oh, NBA didn't. playoffs. We didn't. Well, um, NBA playoffs suck. Uh, they don't suck. They don't suck, but they suck. Eh. I also, hate the Warriors. The two still. biggest still NBA hate the Warriors. watchers of all time, right here. Don't I'm care. Watching it, I didn't say they suck. I just. They just, it's regular. Yeah, so you don't care. It's just it's, it, there's know. not there's not any like until the conference finals anymore. There's not any there's yeah. not there's no surprises. I'm just like hurry up. And I mean, get I the, guess hurry wait. up and get the Warriors and Cavs to the finals. Yeah, so we can, so we can see who's going to. Yeah. Somebody said uh, is oh the first round series should go back to five games. Where yes, you know, they I would should. agree. Yes, right. I would agree with that. Yeah. Just seven is too Absolutely. long. This I, is strictly money making. You totally seven. think they should go back to five games. Wait, what happened? What's the oh, Celtics yeah. Bulls series? Is, Bulls, is that tie two two? Two two. Okay, they play tonight. They're on. Right they play right in now. Boston. Chicago. Okay. Boston, in Boston right now. It's basically tied at halftime. Boston's up two. Um, draft. I only care about the Cowboys. Obviously, we need defense on every single area on the field. That's it. I'm like so <laughs> back and forth on Miles Garrett coming number one to the Browns. Well, it sucks for you guys because he said he wants to come to the Cowboys. So whenever his contract ends and the Cowboys throw a bag at him. He's gonna come to the Cowboys. I'm so bad. Cowboys won't. could suck by then. I hope that the Browns trade out of number one. I don't think anybody's looking to move up to number one. We but gotta I get a quarterback. Really hope you don't have but a there's choice. There's not. There's not a quarterback. Yeah, but they got here the number that's... twelve pick too. They oh, got yeah, twelve too, and they could trade back. Like if they trade back to like five or six. Like I mean, oh, yeah. I don't think there's a quarterback that's. I I like Cody Kessler, so I want Cody Kessler to get one more year. They traded for Brock Osweiler. Like let him see. I mean. Two years ago, or a year ago, when Brock Osweiler was a free agent, people were falling over to try to sign him. I wasn't. He sucked at ASU. So, I mean, like, he's gone from, like, this high commodity to somebody that nobody wants? Like, give him a year. The he Browns sucks. never give anybody uh, a yeah, chance. Yeah, but see, I, Houston may have been bidding against themselves in that in that thing. I don't know if he had a lot of suitors like Denver and Houston. Did he I mean, go back to Denver or Houston give him the money? So. But, but my problem is the Browns draft a quarterback every year, and they never give a quarterback they draft more than a year. Like, no quarterback – what quarterbacks ever won a Super Bowl? We already year? know Cleveland didn't get Osweiler to play him. They did that. No, just they to, did it for the pick. Yeah, clear money and picks and whatever else. But they yeah. also haven't cut him. And we'll see what they do with Josh Gordon. Yeah, but Josh I, they haven't cut him because of like tomorrow, something with the tomorrow, contract. They can't cut him to a certain date or some, something. They said, or something. they said they're letting him compete for the starting job. Yeah, right. With Kessler he as of right now. The, I think they'll pick a quarterback, but they but I don't think they'll pick quarterback one. Although Kessler. that's what they're start. saying is it's trending towards picking Trubisky number one because he's from he's a local kid. I, like I think they, start. I think I've seen I've seen them taking Miles Garrett one, trading back into the top five to pick up Trubisky. Oh yeah, that's the worst thing you could do. That'd be the smartest thing to do: grab Garrett and trade back in and then get the quarterback. Why do you, why do you need to trade up to get it? Him. I mean, he shouldn't go to the second round. Anyway. Okay, well, I'm saying you like, give all kinds okay. of shit up to get back in the top five. I'm that's saying terrible. Okay, fine. That's but I'm just you, saying that Miles like, they need like, talent. Miles Garrett's like uh, the next Von Miller. If you think that giving up picks is the right thing for Cleveland, no, you are severely but mistaken. They, are, they they were willing to give up so many picks to get fucking what's his name from the Patriots. Who? Giving up, uh, yeah, but he's a proven commodity. No, he's that's not. the difference. Yes, he is. How many games has he started? It doesn't matter when he played. He played well and won. So did Brock Osweiler. Brock okay. Osweiler took That's the team. That's definitely not true. Yeah. That's well, definitely that. not true. He well, did he, he, oh, or Denver he did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. In Denver. He, when he, played he, right. he had the best defense in football last year and did nothing. And and, eh. and what's his name? Garoppolo is playing for the best coach ever to exist in the NFL. You're right, but the the thing is, is Cleveland wouldn't be the only team that would give up that for him. No one else would give anything up for Osweiler unless they were trying to buy picks. That's it. Look, moral of the story is Cleveland needs Jesus Christ. And that's Cleveland needs <laughs> yeah, Cleveland needs a good, savior. Uh, or, that's Buddha, a good story or, or Buddha or whoever else you guys worship. We don't judge around here. Or Sky Pilot. Uh <laughs> yes, the guy on the cloud. SP. Um I mean that's the equivalent of it. So uh you heard it here first. This is from George, by the way. Uh yes, that's your opinion. <laughs> uh top ten. All white sneakers ever to us. And shout out to Jay. He's the one that suggested this idea. This idea. At Shanghai Soul, shout out to him. 
We got to figure out what happened to ESPN too. By the way, I mean, I kind of know I why. But yet. Who got um, laid off? A uh, hundred people. Like people that no on way. TV, TV oh, personalities. Yeah. Every, right? like, oh, I gotta look at super that. famous people. I Ed Werder that first. Ed Werder gone. Ed Werder yep, gone. Okay, I gotta look at that. We can't talk about that yet. I what about look Swami? At that first. Uh, I have no idea. They oh, probably no. won't fire him. They can't let him go. Right? I mean, unless he no, he's had some questionable stuff with some like. Okay, that's different. That's I mean, not why they let people go. They let people stuff, go because yeah. they're losing money. Okay, well, I need to. We need to look at that before we talk about that. Yeah. Top ten if all he's white not sneakers. Anymore, he's good. All white sneakers. They don't have to pay those losses. to us. And I hate all white sneakers. And I still don't have a number seven or six. So so then we should. One of you guys got to go And Wale white shoes might be one of the one of the. Best well, my list ever. is not all white sneakers. So Wale's white shoes might be one of the most underrated hip hop songs of all. Of all time. time. Facts. I don't think I ever heard it. What? You should give it a ring. You should yes. put it in your headphones. Throw it on your YouTube when you get it. You home. already know I'm not a huge fan of Wale. I've had like Wale tapes before he was famous. Uh, tapes. Tapes? Tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. tapes. That's what it's called in hip hop, Ryan. Eight tracks? It's called tapes. <laughs> you got eight tracks. Let's <laughs> go. I had Wale vinyls. Okay. Mix, a mix. It's not a called a mix CD. It's called a mixtape. All right. <laughs> Who's gonna go first? They're bottom. Shout out to six tapes. I got six tapes. Seventy six tapes. Seventy six tapes. Shout out to seventy six tapes. So even his strong. name is tapes. It's not seventy six uh, CDs. Um, yes, seventy six downloads. <laughs> <laughs> seventy six streams. It's um, not seventy six uh, EPs. So you guys got to go. Cause I got to think of a six and a seven. All right, you want to go first? I mean, you got honorable mention. Top five. Then. Do you have honorable mention? I, yes. No, okay. let's because do top I ten. Didn't, because I didn't pick. You don't even have ten shoes. I got enough. Go, okay, I'm gonna go and I don't have shoes that are all white. That's the thing. Okay, I'll, you go want ahead. me to do honorable mentions? Yeah, you, you go, go first. Okay, first. I'll go. I'll do honorable mentions. Top ten. Top all ten, white sneakers. Mainly white shoes. <laughs> top ten majority white shoes to us. I mean, I I was gonna put gum. There was like gum bottom shoes I wanted to put in, like undefeated oh, dunks stuff, I wanted to put in, but I didn't because they had gum and gum bottoms. Brown. I debated on that. I'm, I'm interested to hear 18 all white shoes all right, that supposedly are dope. Yeah, honorable mentions. I highly doubt it. SF Air Force One all whites. Nope. Yeah, no. Sock one, no. Dart Independence Day all whites. Uh, are those the ones that are? I just can't stand. Oh, maybe my I've toes. seen all reds. Seeing my There's toes. All, it was so all basically, red, just all a blue, sock dart. A sock dart all white shoe. All white shoe. That's not bad. I wouldn't buy it because I won't buy any sock dart. Stan Smith. All white Stan Smith. That should be in your top ten. Yeah, but I. Does that mean I just put Stan Smith boost? Okay. <laughs> I mean, why does it have to be all white? It's mainly white. Um, Vans. I, mean, I don't even know if I've seen a Stan Smith that's completely white. Vans era all white. The green. And the all sky. right. That, yes. That that shouldn't even count. That's not even. <laughs> that's a good one. I'm writing that down. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, he needs two hey. ideas. Question low. All white. Oh god. And <laughs> no way, bro. A Neva woven. All white. A Neva woven. I don't care. What the heck? Is that the Neva woven? The Nike, Nike. Neva woven. I hate that woven stuff. I like it now. Oh no, I know what you're talking about. Con- them as I uh, enough out no, of you. Enough out of you. Right. You've talked enough today. All, all right. right. And the right. last one I'm gonna mention I have the Pure Money Fours. Yeah, that's on my list. It's on because there's not that many white shoes. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> he was looking for something else to put no, in. No, I got that He's up there. Still, no, I'm that. saying you're looking for something I'm else good. to put in that go spot. Number ten. <laughs> I go, no, you want to go? You going to honorable mention? Honorable mention: Kobe nine, HTM gum bottom. That's mainly gum white. Bottom. Sucks. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, mainly white. Uh, OVO twelve. Uh, oh like, shit! I didn't even think of that. That's mainly white. There's that's some another color in there, but nine percent white and gold. OVO yeah. twelve suck. OVO ten suck. The twelves aren't too bad. Oh, uh, OVO twelve and black. Twelve don't suck. OVO twelve huh? black suck. The tens don't suck. Shut up. They suck. No what tens suck. No. The twelves are better. The twelves are better than yeah. tens. No, the tens are better than twelves. No, oh, I didn't put tens on here, so I disagree. Uh, and then the other one was the. It didn't come out too long ago. The NMD PK all white with the gum Sorry. bottom. Okay, you can't say that because it's a gum bottom. I already said one with a gum bottom. So I mean, it's over. Fucked it all up. You don't like any rules, do you? All right. You don't like following I, rules. Okay, the reason why is you literally can go through this, and how, how are you going to find more than four alt-white shoes? I have 18. Yes, the you I, buy everything. The one I didn't say I scratched off was honorable mention triple white Janowskis. You buy everything. There's Triple a difference. Janowskis are fire. You don't, All Janowskis okay, are fire. Okay, here's the thing. Everything you own, you don't think is fire. Sometimes you just buy stuff just to buy stuff. Yeah, because it's cheap. Okay, exactly. So yeah. you don't everything you own, you don't think is dope. No. So you can't have a list of eighteen. Well, you actually you can have a list. Well, of we 18 talked about shoes. today too. We buy a lot of stuff too that we know eventually is going to suck. Yes, I mentioned that, but I'm uh, willing to admit that he doesn't. That's a difference. Ooh, I just thought about my <laughs> white, bro. <laughs> yes, cocaine. Oh, oh yes. Sorry. Most of my stuff. Mo- I would say I just the, take all pick the any shoe and spill cocaine on it, nah, and then say it's it. this shoe right. with cocaine. Sixty percent of my shoes probably suck. 
Ryan, go number 10. Nah, they don't. You know how honorable? Number oh, no, you 10. Look at your shoes. Number 10. Anniversary Jordan 11s. I got those on there. That's a good one. I forgot that exists. Number nine, triple white NMDs. Not the gum bottom. Yeah, triple the, white. So oh, yeah, those earlier suck. one. They do suck, actually. Number eight. <laughs> that's number nine. Dude, <laughs> number eight. The gum bottoms are way better. This is the only one that's questionable on my list. Jordan won Los Angeles because the sock liner is tan. But the shoe <laughs> is white. Yeah, but a little bit of color here and there I still all consider right. all white. I'm number, not talking about pure. Or white, like Number it doesn't have to be like seven, going to heaven. A shoe that Greg, <laughs> yes, a shoe that going Greg, to heaven. Uh, number seven, a shoe that Greg hates every time that I bring up. All white answer lows. Didn't Love that just shoe. Say all white. It wasn't that. I said question low. Answer oh, question low. Answers are the zipper one. Oh yeah, those suck. See, he hates them. They suck. Oh. Those Num- shouldn't even be low tops. So they were already low enough. Why did they make them lower? The low answers are fire. They were almost flip flops. That's how low they were. <laughs> yes. I think they made a flip flop version of it. They made, they didn't they make made a slide version they of them. Huh? They made they one that like you put it. your foot in. They didn't have a back. Yes, they did. They did actually did. This shoe went from here to here to, to slide in. <laughs> <laughs> What's number? I about those. those suck. Um, number six to round out my bottom five. Chuck Taylor's. That's a good one. That's a real good one, actually. What's wrong with Chuck What's Taylor? Wrong with Chuck George? There's nothing wrong with it, but like, why would we made so many lists and y'all were like, "Oh, Vans don't count," or like, what are you "You're doing? a liar." We, we never always said Vans don't count. Stuff always. When did we say don't Vans ever the last that. list I just made last week or whatever? What when, was when it was like, "What ten shoes would you keep?" And you were like, "I don't have any Vans on here." You know, Vans don't count. I didn't say they didn't. We count. said yes, you did. We said Vans were so iconic that First you of could all, keep as many as you want. No, 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 no. You what you said and what he said was completely different. I don't know about that. You said you can buy vans whenever. Well, no shit, you can buy vans whenever. Well, but, but the point we were, was keeping ten shoes. No, but what we were saying was like you're like like you're gonna you could buy vans at any time. Like you could go buy a pair of. But that wasn't the topic. topic all white Chuck Taylors are all white ten shoes. Anyways, you want. that's not the first time you guys What's said vans 10? don't count. All right. What's your number ten? Joe? Obviously, vans all white vans count. What's the name? Made them famous. Who? Vans man. Who? What's Who? His Damn name? Daniel. Daniel man. Daniel yeah. Vans. Damn Daniel. Damn Daniel. <laughs> he got he got Vans for life or something because of that. <laughs> did he really? Yeah, he did. Dang, Dang. we should have made a video of that or Chicken for Life, one or the other. I don't know. <laughs> he got something. Uh, number ten, Stan Smith boost. If you want to put all white, Stan Smith, whatever. I don't no, care. I consider white. that all white. Oh. It's just a little okay. Bit in the back. I mean, okay. the boost is gonna yellow. Right, so then you're not arguing. It's gonna be gum bottom. <laughs> Number nine. I just don't get how you could just be like Stan Smith Booth and not just Stan Smith. Stan Smith. Smith. Like, That's like, fine. Pick one. I, the other one, Stan Smith Booth, is more comfortable. It's so disrespectful. It's, it's not disrespectful. disrespectful. Yes, it one is. is more comfortable it's than so the other one. If you had an Ultra Boost that was Ultra Boost upper with an out boost on the bottom, you wouldn't buy it, would you? I would just. Maybe, yeah. No, you wouldn't. Here's your craft. Oh, no. I know you wouldn't. There are shoes print? I said I'd yes, buy with Yes, you're paying 5000 okay. Good for you. Let's go. Oh, Future Crafts. Let's go. Number nine. Number nine is uh, two shoes in one. Anniversary Jordan 11 and Columbia Jordan 11. Anniversary 11 is better, but they belong together. The Columbia 11 is not all white. It's, it's mainly it's white. Fine. Yes, it is. Uh, mainly white. What is there, like three really hits of blue on here? Don't you pause. First of all, the original Columbia Jordan 11 did not have a blue bottom, number one. So that that's, was not that's white. A true story I mean, that too. was not blue. That's it a had a little bit too. of blue on the back and on the tongue, and that's, that's it. That's why I could not stand these newer, whatever these were, yeah, legends. legends. Uh, you notice I didn't say a legend 11. I said Columbia, Columbia 11. Right. Number eight, Concepts, Jelly 5, 8 ball. I mean, it's a cocaine shoe, so it got to be on the it's list. off white, though. I don't they're care. They're tan and red. They're not tan. Tan is a shoe. They're definitely they're not tan. tan and red. No, they're not. They're white. Whether they're whether black. it's like they're tan, red and shaded black. Shaded white or grayish white or whatever, they're not tan. They're well, the furthest thing from tan. Look it up on your phone. They're the thing from white. Well, cocaine. No, they're not. Cocaine. They're called eight ball cocaines. They're definitely white. I mean, no, they look like if they you were, make no, crack, no. yes, it's a hint of like yellow. No, yes, yes crack depending is. on no. what you cut it with. What are you talking about? Crack is whiter than cocaine. Cocaine is wrapped up in saran. No, no it's not. not. You, you know, know what? what? No, you know what? Uh, no, you know what? no, we're not having that conversation. You know what? what you are you use the wrong laundry about? detergent? No, you know it's put, not. When you put you were using cocaine in to make it the baking soda, scrape it off the side of a coffee pot, it's whiter than when you know all this. Yes, the cocaine is the whiter part than crack. Well, you just said the other way around. Let's go ahead, man. Go to number eight. Have you never seen a crack rock before? Go to number eight. Crack Have rocks you ever are seen like, cocaine? I've seen it all, actually. I've seen it all. <laughs> Let's go to number eight. Uh, number seven, Pure Money Jordan 4. Number six, EQT 9317 you know White. 9317 White? It's mainly white. Man. That's not white. It has infrared on it. It's, 
and, and black. black and gray. It's mainly white. Man, you need to show Man. up. You really stretch this. You shit. Hate following rules. You hate huh? it. Okay, number one, there's not enough all white shoes to make this list. That when you hear my list, you're gonna be like, "Oh, I right, then." You just wrote two things from his list on your list. No, so I didn't. Actually, no, let's I didn't. not go I'm there. Surpri- I'm surprised Ryan didn't say one that I got on here. Let's go. Number ten, just a regular Air Force One. It's legendary. No, it sucks. I didn't say I'm rock. Okay, let's. You go. said make a list of top ten shoes. It's not going on my list, and you already yeah, knew I didn't that. Put it on there because it okay, sucks. Too. Amen. Whoa, so sorry, whoa, whoa, no, 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 sorry, don't try to like calm me down. No, no, no. I'm sorry. You put dog. a shoe. Let's you said just, make your okay. own list of ten. Okay. If I want to make your list, yes, Highs? I have it on. Okay. I'm making my list. Okay, okay, okay. Highs or lows? Before I just start with my ten, let's go back to what sucks mean. Okay, Air Force Ones don't suck. You own them. Oh, they super suck. Wait, no. which one? No, stop. And Supreme Air, Air Force Ones? I don't care if it's Supreme. I don't care if it's part of the military. I don't care what it is. A Air Force One sneaker. Doesn't suck. They Lows. suck. They and suck. Air Force One, we just don't wear. No, no, no. A That's your posit, opinion. A foam posit doesn't suck. Super suck. We just don't wear no, it. No, they all suck. A Supreme Air Moral Tempo sucks. But a regular Nike Air Moral Tempo doesn't You just said you like the Supreme suck. Air Moral Temples. You said you were going to try to cop them. I'm trying to cop and sell or trade. You wouldn't wear the gold ones? Nike barely got it right when they got three letters on a sneaker. Now they're trying to fit seven. Like... And I said this to somebody. If Supreme was smart, they should have did the Supreme in cursive around the sneaker. That would have been fire. It didn't matter. Right. It's going to sell Supreme doesn't care about the resale after the fact. They just care about it blowing through the, the store at the all beginning. All going to be sitting on our computers. I'm not talking about I know they don't care about us. Refreshing. Supreme doesn't, they literally don't care about yeah, us. Yeah, so you said if they were smart, they'd put fine, cursive. It's fine. still going to sell. You know sell. what? It'd be fire if it was cursive. It's oh, going to sell. All right, well, for you. But Air Force Ones suck. don't suck. suck. They suck. We don't wear them, and we're not buying them. You don't wear them because they don't suck. I don't wear them because they do suck. See the difference? <laughs> Air Force Ones, <laughs> number 10. Highs? Suck. Legendary. Highs? Suck. They lows? may be legendary. That's ones, fine. Lows, highs. Uptowns, call them what care. you want. They all right. suck. All right. They suck. I'll get, all right. Number nine, Jordan Money 4, Pure Money's whatever. Those, okay. Now, those to me, I'm not rocking them, but they look a hype. All right. Yeah. Okay. Number eight, the Air Morab Tempo Jawan Howards. Y'all might not remember those. I do. Oh, my God. I do remember those. Those were fire as hell. All white. And they had the clear water air bubbles. They, those were white. Fire. fire. I actually had those. Fire. Had those. Those two. were fire. Number seven. They, they probably were super dope in 97 or whenever they They're, came they out. They still dope now. They suck now. They're still they dope, dope now. now. They suck now. I don't think any of the Air Morab Tempos right now suck at all. No. I'm just not. I'm not buying them. them. I actually have. That's where we differ. If you're not buying because you can't wear it or you don't want to. This is my thing. If you're not going to pay retail for a shoe or not going to wear a shoe, it sucks. Our motto was under retail or over retail. It doesn't matter with us. All right. Assuming you wear it. If you're not going to. Like if you. Number one, you're not going to buy it for retail. Number two, you wouldn't buy it when it's on sale to wear it. It sucks. I'm sorry. That's my rule. If I saw an Airmore Temple at at Nordstrom Rack for $77.27, I'd buy it. Facts. Right. Then I'm gonna need to see you wear white, those. OG, I'd nah, wear if it was seventy-seven dollars and twenty-nine cents, I ain't moving. People. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna I mean, then wear it. All right, That's number all seven, say. Vans Era. All right, Vans Era or old schools, you all white. Stole that. Well, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Number six, the the latest, the Cruise all whites, Victor Cruise all whites. Those I got are those. bone though. Those are like gray. Stop. Kind of, aren't they? That's like off-white. they're they're lighter white You're than cocaine like eight balls. No, they're lighter white than cocaine. It's probably no. I don't is know. Is that, that the one that you might be similar color? Lives? Huh? That was the one you surprised I didn't have my list. I'm surprised you didn't have that um, in your list. I didn't. I did actually. Uh, number. Let's go, Ryan. Top five. Top five. Numero. Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> Vans slip ons. All white. I prefer the slip ons over the eras. You see what he did there? He put two different vans on the same list, and you guys are the ones that were like, vans don't even count. They're different. Uh, okay. Number four. Okay. But, yes, well, but but uh, uh, no, what no. was it? Uh, Stan Smith with Boost is did not different from the regular Stan Smith. <laughs> you're just insane. Okay, you yes. are. That, you're crazy. <laughs> those those shoes are the same, but two different vans can be on the same list. Now, one has vans, laces, okay. one has a slip-on. Now, vans, slip-ons, vans, slip-ons. Should what be. am I listening to right now? Vans, slip-ons, to me, should always have checkers on them. To me. Slip-ons. That is, that's just me. Well, all none whites, of us I have worn it. a pair of Vans slip-ons. Or well, maybe you maybe have. I have. In years. When? I have but last summer. Plenty of them. I, w- I didn't last say, summer, do you I own wore, them? I have 500 pairs of Vans last that I don't I wore wear. white red slip-ons. When yes. was the last time you wore a Vans slip-on? I go last like the summer. mailbox or something. <laughs> Yes, and house shoes. Why well, doesn't count? Like, what are you talking about? Last what? summer, I, I wore Mickey Mouse slip-ons here. That's fact. I, yes, I believe that. But and I wear white red slip-ons. And I have white blue slip-ons. I haven't worn them, but I'll wear them this summer for you. But you, it's also on your list. Pause. You. 
you're arguing for it. Of course you are. All right, what's number four? Number four, Independence Day Air Max 90 whites. Yes. No. Yes. No? No. Yes. No. Only How navies and really Hyperfuse. No. Hyperfuse, yes. What are you talking about? You're trying to find 10 all-white shoes. Of How course it matters. No. Find 10 all-white shoes and actually... They all right. They're two different things. No, those suck. Air those Max 90 all definitely need to be on there. No, they're not. They're right. hyperfused. They're sick. Those definitely right. need to be on your list. Oh, if you made a list of ten all white shoes and didn't you put those on there, you nice. smoking. You, you smoking wear, the actual stuff we just were talking about. Now, you wear we made, reds more than anything else in your whole collection. Reds, reds what? are my. F- so where do blues fall? They're like number twenty. So we make an all navy now. list. Our blues. Oh, they're in the top ten. Okay, that's making sense. Next, next, number three. <laughs> Craig's gonna hate this one. Easy 350 V2 white. <laughs> Not even out yet. Like <laughs> <laughs> Urban Necessities put them up for sale today for 650 Number two. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even out yet. You got them the top five? One of you guys did that the other day. <laughs> last Ooh, just, other episode. Just no, go. you did. He did. You put volcanoes in the top. Yes, you no, did. No, no, you did. No, I said I'm going mention volcanoes. I said they're not out yet. I'm gonna mention. Just you go. put them in the top ten. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. All right, number two. Triple White Ultra Boost 1.0, only 1.0 on Triple White. Which one? Agree. The one with like the yellowish. Oh, all right. all right, I'm yeah, fine with it. Like the original. The Triple other ones. The other ones. Better, the one that yeah, Kanye more. wore. The one that Kanye yeah. wore. Yeah. Well, the he wore. He wore, he wore more than one too. But yeah. And number one, God is flying it racer. Might be the greatest all white shoe of all time. I love that shoe. It's I had a, a feeling it was gonna be on the list, but that's definitely not number one. George, number five. Number five, uh, NMD PK OG. It has a one red and one blue brick on it, but the shoe is all white. So, what? No what shoe is it? About. The OG NMD PK. So the like the black one is just a white one. It's one white. red brick, one blue brick, one blue brick, and it's no the rest of it's white all bricks. White. Oh, the OGs. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. And what the rest the of it is all white. About? I was like, I'm, I was thinking about, bro. My list would have been I so said different OG. if I could include other That's colors. A good list. I mean, no, okay. it's not. Don't, be, don't, don't, no, it's starting, no, the, don't the top five. Him. The top five don't is starting out. Don't encourage him. Okay, number four. <laughs> what are you talking you about? Five. You better have something other than boost in your top five. Man. Yeah, there is. Okay. Uh, number four, I agree with Simple. Air Max 90, Hyperfuse, Independence Day, Whites. Dang, we even had it in the same Flames. slot. Okay, Pause. do you guys want them? Because I could get those at a great price anywhere. You don't want anything that's on this top ten. That's not the point. You literally just made that point that How you don't want you get them for? Though. How much can you get them for? No, I don't want them. You just said make a list of ten shoes that you I aware. I get those for cheap. Like a hundred? Okay. <laughs> Let's chill. Oh, you, you know somebody? Like Two twenty-five. Yes. You know somebody? Yes, you know somebody? I do. They always trying to sell them to me. How much? What size? My size, the same size as you. Damn, I'm gonna have to. Two twenty five. Red ones too. My answer no. is no. <laughs> yes, if there's a rebel, I cop them. Uh, what's your number three? Number three, Yeezy V two three fifty <laughs> triple whites. <laughs> 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 you can't be shooting fucking. It's you on there, are wild, printed. Though. It's on there, printed. Dang. It's not even. Out yet. That means that another one care. of my top two are in your top two, that which means that there's only one difference. That is so whack. Yeah, that's. I, I that's can fine. guarantee if I get an all white Yeezy, I'm not keeping. That's you a will. 100% You're, because fact it will violate your rules, so it's you can't so keep it. Ugly. You will wear. All white it. shoes are so whack. They shouldn't even exist. You wanted to go buy Goddess when you saw me wearing <laughs> this it. This list was them. your idea. No, it was Jay's idea. It, you accepted it. No, we, we literally <laughs> thought about this today. All right. Look. Number <laughs> number two, Jordan 4, White Submit, and Jordan 3, White Submit. That doesn't count. They're mainly no, white. No, that doesn't count. No, They're mainly white. That doesn't count. That's stupid. Care. They're mainly white. You can't do that. You, you can't call them white. cements. You have to say pure. <laughs> <laughs> You can't call them some mints and say all white. You can't. Like, and, if, and if that was counted, that uh, should be your number one. Uh, all white. So oh, you nah. have to say pure money threes. Nah, because the number one. You have to say, have to say pure, pure money threes. No. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, no, you I do. don't. Why yeah. would I? Yes, you pure do. money threes are yes, trash. You. Okay. Well, you can't say white cement because that yeah, fucking yeah. doesn't I said pure count. money fours are number seven. Fine. Whatever. Number one. What's my list? What's number you one? You got yeah, your list. Your lists are always different than our list. What's number one? Number one, Triple White Ultra Boost 1.0, but not the one he said, the J&B Collective or J&D Collective, whatever it is. That one actually has the white bottom and the knit is all white. It was a consortium pair. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Look it up. My turn. Triple White Ultra Boost J&D Collective. I'm surprised you guys didn't even have this. That I fucking w- hate that you have white cement on your list. That's the one that That's Kanye wore. <laughs> That's so bullshit. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> this, this is the face of a person who doesn't That's care. That's like me saying like Con- Concord 11s. No, uh, that's that good. could be uh, Concord Eleven. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What are you talking about? White with black pant leather. I don't know if that's majority white though. Yes, it is. 
is. It's ninety percent. Uh, it means the I NBA rule. Ninety twenty. Okay, it means the ninety ten rule. Definitely not ninety percent. Because if no, that's ninety percent, Jordan four white cements is about ninety nine percent by your by your rule. <laughs> Number five, Adidas shell toe. Just a shell toe Adidas. I don't care about them anymore. Uh, I I it, I fought between putting that in Stan Smith. I owned them in nineteen ninety six and uh, ninety five or whatever, and I don't own them anymore. I don't care. Yes, There's you, a lot of stuff you, I own back then. It was then. you, so, Run DMC, <laughs> and Grandmaster Flash. All y'all was walking oh, down were, the street. Uh, yes, you were carrying. <laughs> You were carrying you a were carrying boom a box. He had tapes. He was carrying a crate. <laughs> you guys are about those tapes ten years street. off on that on that joke. But. <laughs> Number four, triple white, ultra boost one point oh. Just cause uh, three racer goddess, the only all white shoe that might matter on earth right now. But I got it number three. Okay, I mean you can get it under retail. So number two, that's not true. number two, Adidas Stan Smith. I don't care if it got Boost. I don't care if it got Flex Prime Knit. I don't care what it got. And number one, Reebok Classic Ice Bottoms. Facts. Mm, yeah. Reebok I Classic actually Ice Bottoms. Did I actually almost did put cr- that. Reebok? Oh Classic my ice god! Bottoms. What you got? I want to change my number one to the Calabasas. All right, y'all done with the show today? <laughs> I, the, the last twenty minutes was just the worst foolishness I've ever heard in my entire life. Because yes, because of you, ridiculous. yeah, your list, was your list was way off. No. We'll see what people think tomorrow. You need to put calabasas on your list. Calabasas suck. No, they calabasas don't. Do yes, suck. they do. Do you think they suck? They suck. You wouldn't wear them. ass. You mm-hmm. got them for a hundred bucks. You wear them. A hundred dollars for calabasas? Would you wear them? No. <laughs> How much did you pay for them? They don't even say Yeezy on them. I think they cost a hundred dollars. How much you pay? One twenty or something. They made one twenty. So you get under retail. Forty nine at the most. I'm talking about finish line. No, I would I not got wear them. Points. No, I would not. You wouldn't wear them. I would wear the regular Adidas version of that shoe before I would wear the calabasas one. And last year before Yeezy was wearing it, so no one would be like, <laughs> now, you're just, now you're just being contrary. Yeah. No, people. Did you have you not seen the pictures of people wearing that shoe? It looks so ridiculous, and they only want it because he wore it. That's Why it. Why does it look ridiculous? Why exactly. does it look ridiculous? Exactly. Why does it look ridiculous? Exactly. You I'm have gonna no, go you by, no response. I'm going to okay. go by Reebok oh, no, no, no. workouts. Well, let's go like this. Calabasas? Calabasas? That's look, a different shoe. Whoa, whoa. It's the same shoe. Let's go like this. Calabasas on feet looks better than Yeezy all-white V2s on feet. Nah. Nah. Stop, stop it. it. Nah. Stop. stop it. Nah. Stop You it. stop. Neither one of you can wear an all-white Yeezy V2 on feet. Nobody can. Don't believe Hold me. Just my watch. beer. Hold my beer. Yes. <laughs> you're going to get them, and you're going to do this. Well, I have to get them first. Yeah, so that's not guaranteed. Suck. Is there anything else? Any shout-outs to anybody? Anything? Shout-out to all the disciples. The disciples. Dude, the Shout-out to the disciples. Shout-out Rejuvenator. Shout-out Rejuvenator. We're going to get some beaters out with some Rejuvenators. <laughs> yes. Rejuvenate your shit. Get your shit right. <laughs> get Rejuvenator laundry detergent for your clothes. Rejuvenate your clothes. All right. Anything else? That's a sneak deal. That's a sneak deal.